Hello, I'm Surya. I will be talking about R3 observing campaigns with Effelsberg in UGMRT. This work is done by the Effelsberg GMRT FRB collaboration. Our, the full name of R3 is FRB 2018-0916B. It is an FRB with a 16, 16 period, 16-day 16 period with a five-day duty cycle and a rate of one per hour at 600 megahertz. It is a model repeater to study because of higher rate and not so long period that you can cover multiple cycles in the same time, which leads to having more bursts. To your right, we have plotted some dispersed filter banks, uh, which we observed using UGMRT band four. Marazuela 2020 first described chromatic periodicity, meaning that bursts at higher frequencies arrive at earlier phases, and also reported bursts at apertive and low far. Play Unis 2020 also reported bursts at ch using Chime, UGMRT, and low far. We took all of these bursts and fitted power loss to the peak phase and active window. In addition, FL's work has a C-band receiving system which operates in 4 to 8 gigahertz and records in full stokes in 131 microsecond time resolution. Naturally, we extrapolated this power law to 4 to 8 gigahertz and uh, scheduled observations in this window to which led to the first 6 gigahertz detection of R3 burst. The phase of the detection was 2.835 and the width of 2.62 millisecond the observations are still ongoing. The properties of this burst agree with those at higher lower frequency in that they are 100% linearly polarized with the flat PA and also have side storm moon structure. In addition, we have a UGMRT campaign with 36 hours in cycle 39, covering eight activity cycles, uh, six hours of simultaneous in band four and band five, meaning which ultimately leading to 83 full stokes bursts and uh, two of which are simultaneous. Uh, why simultaneous? We mean that we took the filter banks at band four and band five and re dispersed to both of them to the same reference frequency of 1200 megahertz. And we see structures which are common, which happen at the same time. To your left, you can see. Uh, you can see the the burst at band five to go below noise towards the edge of the towards the edge of the band and suddenly reappear at the edge of the band four. However, to your right, you can see the burst at band four to be a continuation of the sad storm moon structure of band five. We also have paper in preparation and uh, so stay tuned for that and thanks for your attention.